mid-systolic murmur. A mid-systolic murmur begins shortly after the first sound, peaks in the middle of systole, and does not quite extend to the second sound. It is the crescendo-decrescendo murmur, which builds up and decreases symmetrically. It is also known as an ejection murmur. It most commonly is due to forward blood flow through a normal, narrow, or irregular valve, i.e. aortic or pulmonic stenosis. The murmur begins when the pressure in the respective ventricle exceeds the aortic or pulmonary arterial pressure. The most characteristic feature of this murmur is its cessation before the second sound, thus leaving this latter sound identifiable as a discrete entity. This type of murmur is commonly heard in normal individuals, particularly in the young, who usually have increased blood volumes flowing over normal valves. In this setting, the murmur is usually short, with its peak intensity early in systole, and is soft, seldom over 2 over 6 in intensity. It is then designated as an innocent murmur. In order for a murmur to be classified as innocent, i.e. normal, the following must be present. 1. Normal splitting of the second sound together with absence of abnormal sounds or murmurs, such as ejection sounds, diastolic murmurs, etc. 2. Normal jugular venous and carotid pulses. 3. Normal precordial pulsations or palpation. And 4. Normal chest X-ray and ECG. Obstruction or stenosis across the aortic or pulmonic valves also may give rise to a murmur of this type. These murmurs are usually longer and louder than the innocent murmur and reach a peak intensity in mid-systole. The murmur of aortic stenosis is harsh in quality and is heard equally well with either the bell or the diaphragm. It is heard best at base right and radiates to the apex and to the neck bilaterally. The murmur of pulmonic stenosis is less common. Its harsh quality is also heard equally well with either the bell or the diaphragm. It is heard best at base left and radiates along the left sternal border. Listen now to a typical mid-systolic murmur. Note carefully the fact that the murmur diminishes clearly before the second sound.